Okay, um, I've this is the 2017 paper. This is the big restricted answer question one. Okay, um, I've obviously had to shuffle stuff about so I can try and get everything in the right place. First thing you've got to do is read the context. Right, question one. There are two main pathways of programmed cell death, apoptosis, intrinsic from within the cell and extrinsic from outside the cell. You already know this, so this should at least have given you a context that you're totally aware of. Figure one summarises some of the main features of the two pathway. You've got a quite a nice one, actually. So intrinsic pathway, so that's DNA damage, P53 activation, caspase 9 activation, which impacts on caspase 3, giving you apoptosis. The extrinsic is an extracellular death signal, giving you a cell membrane receptor binding, which causes caspase 8 activation, which then activates caspase 3, apoptosis. OK. Right, so context we're looking for now. Apoptosis is deregulated in many tumours, resulting in uncontrolled cell division despite the presence of significant DNA damage. One strategy for the discovery of new anti-cancer drugs has been to examine traditional medicinal herbs. A study was carried out to investigate the effect of an extract of the wild ginger plant, you know I never attempt lineage names, um, on the initiation of apoptosis in colon cancer cells. Colon cancer cells were treated with this extract and then assessed for the presence of apoptotic cells. The percentage increase in cells undergoing apoptosis was calculated by comparing the level of apoptosis in treated cells with that in untreated controls as shown in figure 2. And then we have, frankly, a very nice trend. Okay, So you've got the increase in cells undergoing apoptosis, so that's obviously assuming that they're all doing the right things. Extract concentration increasing in micrograms per centimetre cubed, 5, 10, 15, 20. And, yeah, I'm like a really nice trend line of that. OK. To investigate the involvement of caspases in this process of apoptosis, experiment was repeated using a single dose of extract at 10 micrograms per centimetre cubed, which, if we look up here, definitely had an impact, um, but with the addition of a variety of caspase inhibitors, drugs known to prevent the activation of one or more caspases. Inhibitors used included an inhibitor known to prevent all caspase activation, and individual inhibitors of caspase 3, caspase 8 and caspase 9. Percentage changes in the number of cells undergoing apoptosis compared to untreated cancer cells are shown. OK, so we've got, if you give them the extract, we get an increase in apoptosis. If you give them the extract, but you block all caspase activity, that drops back down um, to basically less apoptosis than the the untreated cancer cells. Uh, caspase 3 does the same. Caspase 8 inhibitor doesn't do anything to that really. Very small decrease from the extract. And caspase 9 does a decrease as well. Okay. The distribution of the cancer cells across different phases of the cell cycle was then investigated by measuring the DNA content of the cells. Cultures of cells were treated with 10 micrograms centimetre cubed extract or left untreated for 12, 24 hours as a control. DNA content of 10,000 cells was analysed for each cell culture. Results for treated cells are shown in figure A and for control cells in figure B. DNA content is displayed with arbitrary units where 200 units represents the DNA content of a non-dividing diploid cell. Okay, so we have, again, a fairly nice gra graph, I think, once you've figured out what's going on. So here is your 200 is a non-dividing cell, which means up here you must have a cell that's just about to divide. And there is a very different profile you can see between figure B where they've not been treated with the extract and figure A when they have. OK, so we've looked at the data. I, I think you should have a fair idea of what questions are going to ask, to be honest, once you've read that through. Right. First question says, referring to figure 2, which is why I've tried to put that next to it, describe the trend shown in figure 2. We've already said, and the trend is very nice. OK, as you increase... As you increase that extract concentration, because remember, any relationship or trend has to have both of them in your answer. Okay, so as you increase extract concentration, I apologise for my writing; it's the scribbliness on the graphics tablet. Okay, as you increase extract concentration, um, cells undergoing apoptosis increases. Apoptosis. And that's it. That's a fairly nice question, I think. OK, for B, describe the action of caspases in cell destruction. Well, now, I went and looked at the mark scheme of this because I was like, well, that's a straight KU answer, which is just their proteases. So they break down proteins. 
And now it's something that you know. But they were accepting, which I thought was perfectly valid given the information. If you go back up to this up here, you can see part of the Caspase cascade. So what you've got here is 9 is activating 3, and you've also got 8 activating 3. So it's perfectly valid and totally was accepted that you can say one of the functions or an action of this one is to activate other caspases. Okay, right. Figure, referring to figure 3, explain how the data supports the conclusion that the intrinsic pathway for apoptosis is triggered by the extract. Okay, so we're looking at figure 3, so that's our, our second graph. And we're looking at our normal extract is increasing the number that are undergoing apoptosis, which is good. Okay, and then you look at what's happened with these ones. So if you inhibit all of the, all of the caspase activity, then all the good that was being done with that extract is wiped out. In fact, it goes back lower. So that's definitely what the extract is involved in. But then it's very specific. If we look at caspase 3 and 9, those actually go below the zero. But caspase 8, if I inhibit that, it's still up here. So caspase 8 is not affected or part of the issue with, with the inhibitor. So I go back up to here again, and I look for caspase 9 and caspase 3, because they're the ones that had an impact. Here's caspase 9, here is caspase 3. So they're part of the intrinsic pathway, whereas caspase 8 is not. Okay? And that's what you need to say. So what we need to say is that um, inhibiting caspase Oh, caspies, sorry, uh, nine, nine and three um, means you get less, you get or extract not functioning, extract not being effective. And they are on the intrinsic pathway. Or you could go the other way and you could say that it's the 8 which is not part of the intrinsic pathway, it's the extrinsic pathway, and it's not affected. Okay, so either of those, but that's where you're needing to, to line line up. Okay, so describe the three what the three negative values indicate about the level of apoptosis. That's fine, okay, so we're looking at a negative here, and it says in the in the data, I'm gonna change that to a yellow to like it on the green. Uh, we've got percentage changes in the number of cells undergoing apoptosis compared to untreated cancer cells are shown. So if I am below that, all I'm saying is that I now have apoptosis level of is lower than untreated cancer cells. Pretty much a straight lift. That one's not too bad. Okay, last part of the question is looking at this data, which I'd already mentioned what was going on. And I think this one's a little bit of a gift, actually. Calculate the percentage increase in the number of cells with 400 units of DNA treated with the extract compared to the control. Okay, so this one, we're just looking for a percentage change. So percentage change is always, increase or decrease doesn't matter, it's just a change divided by the start times it by 100. Okay, so go looking over here and your... 400 in the untreated. It's quite nice, it's going up in tens, so that's 20. And in the treated, again, up in tens, so 70. No, oh, 90, not 70, 90. Um, which means our change. So I scribbled down some stuff and realised I'd put my 90 in the wrong place. Okay, so my change is 70. So I'm looking for 70 divided by 20 times that by 100 gives me 350 percent okay you would even get away without putting that percentage sign in because it does say calculate the percentage increase right last one two marks i actually still don't think it's that bad 
but your explanation has to be quite clear. So I'm going to do a wee doodle side here. So it was concluded that the extract initiated cell cycle arrest at checkpoint after DNA replication, but prior to cell division. Explain how the data supports this hypothesis. Right, so he, if this is your cell cycle, wobbly cell cycle, okay, so here we've got cytokinesis. So that's the point at which it splits, right? So we've then got our other phases of cell cycle. So G1, S, G2, and M, okay? Now in G1, we would have 200 units of DNA because that's what they said, that was a non-dividing cell. So at that point, it's non-dividing. And then you've got the S phase where we are replicating our DNA. So at the end of S, I'm going to have 400 units of DNA. And then if I get all the way round to here, I'm going to hack it in two again, go back to 20, 200. So, that's, so what's happened somehow is I have blocked in here. Okay, because I've got past the four hundred to the four hundred, but then I've not gone back down to the two hundred. Because if we look at this, there is without question in the treated cells an awful lot more in the four hundred range than in the untreated cells, which is smaller, but also the untreated cells has an awful lot more of the two hundred, which is in the kind of divided G one or G naught, depending on what it's sitting in. So you need to actually explain in that one. And you need to make sure you've got the comparison, because if you haven't got the comparison, then you're not going to get the mark. So you're, however you, you put this data in, what I'm expecting you to, to have as your kind of first statement is the treated has more cells at 400 units. Okay, which means DNA replicated. So it's replicated at S, but not divided at cytokinesis. I suppose you could put that. Okay, and that's it. And that's the whole of that question. Okay.